This is the first bit of information that you are given when you first start the game. Death, risk, and sacrifice. Incredibly common themes that you will experience in the darkest fucking dungeon. You've probably read the title of the video. You know where this is going, but let me explain why. Let's bring it back many moon ago. I was a happy boy walking around PAX East when I stumbled upon a small indie booth. The colors and the atmosphere immediately caught my eye. The kind gentleman running the booth told me it was going to be a turn-based roguelike with a gothic Lovecraftian theme. Well, needless to say, I was on board. Kickstarted it immediately, and I was ready. Fast forward some time, and we finally got our hands on the early access copy. Fuck. I knew I had already made a good call. I'd go into more detail about the early access, but there really isn't much to it because the core game and everything that makes it fantastic was already planted and growing into what we have now. First, the art style. I love looking at this game. Specifically, the color red just looks so nice. I can't really explain that one. Everything that needs to pop, pops just the right amount. The heroes are unique and ominous. The monsters are intimidating and themed perfectly to the gothic setting we're placed into. Except this guy. He isn't very intimidating. Then there's the sound design. Absolutely steals the show. The narrator, soundtrack, ambience, everything in the sound department is perfect. The narrator sets the scene. The sound of hitting an enemy feels solid. The impact of being hit by a critical strike is haunting. Looting, lighting a torch, camping, my immersion. It's incredibly immersive. And this isn't just a biased opinion because the lovely people over at Power Up Audio made me a sub alert with the narrator. Welcome to the pizza party. Seriously though, that was so fucking cool of them. Now all they need to do for me is get one of their artists to draw me as a hound master and I will get on my knees and blow them a big ol' balloon animal. <laughs> Most importantly, there's the gameplay. This is the make it or break it for a lot of people, and I completely understand why. This is a procedurally generated turn-based game. There is a lot of RNG. What is RNG? Random number generation. You will miss high percent chances to hit three times in a row. Fuck. You will lose heroes. You will be punished when your heroes become afflicted. Your entire team, son of a bitch. But you will also land that fight winning crit or that clutch heal. And when you do, it will feel fucking fantastic. I like to call it risk management more than RNG. Most comparable to Blood Bowl as opposed to XCOM. Yes, there will be times when you are going to curse the name of RN Jesus. This game will bend you over sometimes, but what separates the good from the great is proper risk management. So you don't put yourself in the position to be bent over and booty banged by your enemy. Another core feature that can be a turnoff for some is the stress it induces. This is a stressful game. You will be stressed. Your party will be stressed. Stress will lead to your party dying, and you will not be happy about it. And I love it. Only comparable to Dark Souls, at least for me, that feeling of overwhelming joy when you conquer a boss is... It's beautiful. The payoff of victory in the face of defeat just rubs me in all the right ways. To me, it's worth the effort. But I understand that this isn't the case for all. So far, Darkest Dungeon is my game of 2016. Go check it out. Listen to the soundtrack. If you can't buy it, you could totally watch me stream it. In closing, I hope I've at least convinced you to give it a deeper look. It may not be for everyone, but it's definitely for me. Hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe, give me all your schmeckles. For real though, let me know if you enjoyed this video. I'd love to make more of them and it's stressful introducing new things to the channel sometimes. Either way, thank you for watching.